So, final tally today was 12. Uh, I know Kelly and my Uncle Jimmy kept three. So, I guess my final tally was nine. Uh, though I probably caught close to two dozen with what I threw back. But uh, some really, really nice fish here. I mean, you can see that's my hand right there. So that's a that's a really nice fish. I think Kelly caught that one. That's either a brim or a or a shell cracker. That might be a shell cracker. That's a big fish. But uh, yeah, I caught this red one right here, and uh, that was a really nice fish too. They they kind of change colors after you put them on ice for a couple hours, so they they, they do this weird thing where they kind of change colors. But uh, really really nice haul of fish today for a few hours worth of fishing. Uh, I think we caught. 14 last week so um i did a lot better today uh and then kelly and jimmy didn't do quite as well as they did last time but uh i'll take it so i'm gonna get these bad boys cleaned up and uh we'll probably fry them up this weekend so um hope you guys are having a good weekend and uh, i'm gonna get to it so i'm in the process of, of cleaning these fish here and uh Thought it would be cool while I'm at it to maybe give a quick little tutorial on how I clean uh, brim and, and panfish. Um, so what we've got here is we've got uh, some brim. All, all these are brim of, di of various different sizes. Um, and this, what I'm getting ready to show you, will work for pretty much any kind of panfish, whether it be brim, red breast, um, shell cracker, crappie, bass, uh, any of any of a decent sized panfish this this little method that i use will pretty much work so um i've got a cutting board um my fish and i've got a, a double stainless steel sink here i know not everybody has it's going to have this but um this is how i've kind of got set up here um, i've got a trash bag for my scales and my guts and down in here and i've got this other um uh part right here uh for from for washing so i'm going to set this up right here and I'll show you how i do this and i'm going to turn this water on over here just a little bit I'll move that i'm going to turn this water on and you don't need a lot just a little bit <clears throat> so i'm going to take this biggest fish here this is the biggest one I'll use it for reference now the bigger fish are actually a little bit harder to scale typically because they uh the scales are a little bit bigger and this is this is just a regular spoon and you'll notice this this is kind of a it's a really cheap spoon and these edges here um, are not sharp but they've got a very distinct edge here and this is what i like to use um, to clean fish is one of these spoons right here so uh, great thing about it is it can't cut you uh, but it's got this nice little edge here so if you just take this edge right here hold your spoon nice 45 degree angle you can start right here at the tail and you can literally just just work that whole you almost get the, almost the whole fish in one go just like that and just peel that right back off of there and you're not you don't have to be gentle with them you're not going to hurt them they're dead <laughs> and um, you're not going to hurt the meat underneath any um main thing other thing you want to do is make sure you get around your edges here this is a, and around these scales or uh these fins get all of that and around these top parts and bottom parts we get that up here around this top make sure you guys can still see that and behind this fin here you'll see that lifts up and there's some typically some scales back there as well on the head just gonna get that top part it doesn't take too long and then for this part I like to turn the fish away from me and work the spoon out the other way and get this bottom it tends to work a little better just get that underbelly part right there get behind these fins here and that should be good turn it over same thing just get started right here at the tail and just work your way back Towards the head, you can pretty much just peel that whole thing right off there. Dump your scales in your trash bag and keep going. Like I said you're not hurting the meat or the fish in any way doing this like this. 
and kind of just peeling it like that kind of helps keep the scales from going everywhere. Just kind of peel them. And they kind of just collect right up in the spoon. Nice and easy for me to get rid of. got any tips or tricks you want to impart that you think you have that I'm missing by all means feel free to share I'm always up to learn something new uh, and improve my cleaning skills but this is how I do it it seems to be working fairly well and it seems to get most of the scales off the fish pretty efficiently nobody's complaining about my cleaning skills they ate fish last weekend and I cleaned all of them and Nobody complained, so must be doing something right. But this seems to be a fairly efficient way. And then the cleanup isn't too bad either. All your guts and your scales just go right into that trash bag. Easy disposal. I think I've got one more fish left to scale, and then we're going to get to the the gutting part so we get to that. I'll show you guys how I do that. Should be good. Wash him off. Get rid of my scales there. So now we're ready to, to clean these fish to gut them out. Um, I am using a Cutco knife. Um, had this knife for forever. I do a lot of cleaning with this knife. So it's just a good hunting all purpose knife. So this is what I'm using. But uh, any knife will do uh, that's, as long as it's a pretty sturdy knife. Uh, you do not want to really use a fillet knife for this. Um, and I'll show you why. We'll get to that at least the way I, I clean these fish. So. Um, you can do this a couple of different ways. Uh, you can do this a couple of different ways. These fins, you can take these fins off if you want to. 
Um, I took them off last week, but my parents like to eat these fish with them on. So they're like, leave them on. So I'm going to leave them on today. So these fans and these top fins are going to stay. Uh, but these, uh, uh, these fins, these side fins are going to go. So first thing we're going to do is just take them off. bottom fins are going to go too. So we're just going to take him and we're just going to kind of push this fin and break it. Like that. And once you kind of have that, it should come, almost just pull it out of there. Like that. And it should just pull right out. Other side. Same thing. Now if you want to wear a pair of metal gloves doing this, Obviously, you can cut yourself with a knife, and then these spines are pretty sharp, you know, on, on the top um, and down here and under here. So these things can can get you. If you're not real careful. I've been poked more than once, so I'll just kind of grab that. down away from me like this and I'm going to come underneath this gill here and this is where we're going to make our first cut we're just going to start right about there and just come on around and release this head the bottom part of the gill from the head okay now this is why you don't want to use a fillet knife for this because you need a good sturdy knife that's not going to bend on now, some people like to eat these fish with the head on. I, we don't. So I'm gonna go, come back up underneath this gill here. And I'm gonna just drop my knife very carefully. And then I'm gonna make sure my thumb is out of the way. And I'm gonna drop my knife right into that hole. And I'm gonna try to cut this head off as close to that eye as possible. Drop it down in there and drop down. You'll hear the bone break. And then you just take that head and it should just pull right out of there. And that's, there's your fish. So, you know, and you're not really losing a whole lot of meat there like that coming out. So I'll just go ahead and, so uh, just taking that head part off, you're not really losing a whole lot. So now we still got to get the guts out of there. So we're going to just take our knife right inside the middle there, down in, and just cut down. Not very far, you don't need to go very far. Just kind of cut that open there. Doesn't have to be really anything pretty. Uh, just kind of cut that open there. Open him up and take these guts. And out they come. Just make sure you pull that out. And wash. And that's pretty much, that one pull pretty much got all those guts out of there. You can see that's pretty much nothing really left in there. So we're going to just take our water here. Nice clean cavity there and no guts and that's pretty much ready ready to be cooked so we'll do one more I'll do one of these bigger ones do this big one <clears throat> put that back over there so again we're gonna take these side and we'll dry it off these don't take much you just kind of have to cut the meat around them Pooping. A lot of times when you push 
on these fish on their guts. A lot of times they'll poop and just wash that off. All that's coming out anyway, but still. basically already loose you know so all you have to do is just separate the rest of the head it's pretty much ready to go take him make sure your fingers are out of the way cut away from you and drive straight down and down again and that should just pop right off of there Yep, and again, knife right into the gut, not too far, won't have to go very far, and just down, open that up right there, might need to be open a little more, there we go, and just take your finger in there, part of cleaning fish, but uh, it does work. Get the blood on here. Anything else is just kind of hanging out in the cab, you know. See my dogs. I just want to make sure you look in your gut tab really good. And that's clean, nice and clean. So, make sure I got my. There we go. So, nice and clean in there. Perfect fish. It's perfect eating size. That is a beautiful fish. So, that's going to cook up nice. So, hope this has helped you guys. I'm going to clean the rest of these fish and uh, hopefully we'll eat these tomorrow. And again, you might just, just take your cutting board. You should kind of get some stuff on it and just kind of push that over to the side. Take your spoon and clean that out. So, um, hope this has helped. Again, if, you, if you're watching this, you have any tick, tri eh, tips and tricks or anything else I'm missing or think that would help, please comment. Um, I always love to learn more. I'm not saying I know it all, but this is just how I do it. So uh, I'm going to get the rest of this done, and I'll see you guys later.